Hello, my name is Tom, and in this video I will solve puzzle number 32 of the Square Cells game. Okay, let's start with the group, group clues as usual, like this and this and this. Here we go, like this and this and this. Now, I solved this puzzle a couple of days ago only, so I hope it doesn't take too long to solve it. Okay, um, what else do we have with the group clues? Here we can't have a connection, so I can delete this square. These two, sorry, these two groups also can't touch, so I can delete this square too. And I can delete this square because these two groups also can't touch, so the group of two connected squares can only be completed like this. Mm. What else have we got? Um, 4 and 3, those two can't touch. Can I actually deduce something here already? No, I can't. Um, here, these two groups can't touch 4 and 12, so I can delete this. And that's it, I think. Yes. So let's start with the uh, column clues, as I usually do. I can't deduce anything from this here. I need a separate square at the end, so let's delete this one. And if we count the remaining separate square here, one and a gap, one, two, three, I can mark this one, because the three connected squares have to contain this square. No clues here. Um, eight unconnected squares, or not necessarily connected squares. That doesn't help here for this column two. Um, here we have three, four, one, one. Um, that's seven, eight, nine, plus three equals twelve. Yes, I can complete this column already. One, two, three, gap one, two, three, four, gap one, gap one, like this. Three, four, one, one. Yes. Um, anything else with the group clues here? No, not yet. Okay, so uh, five squares here. S no clue here two connected squares. No, that doesn't help. Here I have two connected squares two times, so they have to be positioned like this. And one gap, one gap, one. That doesn't help yet. Here in this column we have two connected squares at the top, so let's put them in like this. I don't need to count here, no. So, uh, anything else with the group clues? Yes, here. I can already see that, I, that this group and this group cannot touch. Um, and this group and this group cannot touch, so I can delete this square here. Uh, yeah, okay. So um, let's look at this row now. We have three times two connected squares, where the first two connected squares have to be positioned like this or like that. And the other ones are basically completed, so I can delete the columns here like this, because I need two connected squares there, so that completes the group of three connected squares also. Here I have two, two, one. Let's count one, gap, one, two, gap, one, two. No, I don't think I can deduce anything here so far. No. Um, here we have six connected squares and two. Obviously the two connected squares have to be here. And the six connected squares have to be positioned like this. So I can leave that one too. Then we have four connected squares and two connected squares here. Four like this completing the group of four connected squares. Nice. And two connected squares, either like this or like that. So I can delete all of these squares. <coughs> Here we have seven squares altogether. Let's see, we have eight squares left, so I would have to delete one square here to complete this row. Here we have one and four and one. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four. I don't yet know whether this is one separate square or part of the four connected squares here. No, it can't be the four connected squares like this, right? You can see that because then it would touch a bigger group. So this has to be the separate square at the end of the row. And I can delete this one like this. So that means the four connected squares have to move one, two, three, four, but four like this. Um, yes, that's this part, I think, yes. So, um, in this row I have two connected squares at the end, like this, completing the group of three connected squares here. And then I have two connected squares that can only be positioned like this or like that. 
so I can delete this square and there's one separate square somewhere left here. Here I have three connected squares and one separate square so I can complete this uh, row like this already. Also nice. Three the separate squares. Wait, I'll not take this call. Three the separate squares here so I can't use these clues also. Um, here we have eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. That doesn't really help yet unless I could figure out one of the gaps here. No, I don't know that. Okay, let's look at this one. One, one, two, and two. Can the first separate square be here? One, gap, one, gap, one, two, gap, one, two, yes. Gap, one, two. Okay, I can delete this square, I think, here. Because if I count from this side, I have two connected squares here, a gap, and then the next two connected squares can't be here, they can only be here. And uh, this square cannot be reached by either one of the two connected squares here. So I can delete this one, um, but I still don't know whether the one separate square is... If, if this one is the uh, first separate square or the second one. No, I don't think I can uh, rule this out yet. So, uh, let's look at this column. We have eight squares left here. So I can't do anything else. Here we have three squares at the top and then one separate square. So this one has to be the separate square. And these, the three connected squares, are can delete this square. And this column is complete. Um, eight squares here, that doesn't help. Five squares, that doesn't help. Two and two. This has to be the bottom two connected squares here. So I can delete these squares because this one is the uh, is part of the remaining two squares here. Um, here I can complete this column. I need two more separate squares. Yes, and they have to be positioned like this. And here I have to position two squares somewhere here. So one of them has to be positioned like this. And then I have one more separate square either here or here. But I don't yet know where, so let's look at the uh, rows again. I can delete this square here because I only have two connected squares at the beginning. Here I have one, two, two left. One, two, two, two. This has to be two connected squares, so uh, I can't have two connected squares like this. I can delete this square. So the two connected squares are positioned like this or like that. So the other two connected squares or the next ones can't be positioned like this. They are either positioned like this or like that. So that means I can delete this square. But I still don't know if this one separate square is positioned here or positioned there. <coughs> um, here I have two squares. Da -da -da -da. One and four. No, the one can be here, the four can be there. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, that doesn't really help. Um, here, one and two. I need one more square here, and here I have two squares left. Doesn't help. So yes, I can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can complete this row like that. Yep. And here I can also see that the uh, group of three connected squares can't touch this field creating a group of four, or this field also creating a group of four, so I can delete these two squares. This one has to be completed like that, the group of three connected squares. So let's look into this row now. We have two connected squares here at the end, so I have to mark this one. The group of four connected squares is completed like this. Then we need another two squares here. I can delete this square, and another square, another separate square here at the beginning. So the group of two connected squares is completed and I can delete this square. So now the group of six connected squares can only be completed like this, which in turn completes this row. I can delete the remaining squares. So now the group of five connected squares can only be completed not like this. I need to put one more square here and one more square from this row. Mm. But that means for this row that I need one separate square here and the two connected squares are somewhere here. I can delete this square. <coughs> okay, uh, and here I don't know anything else yet. Let's look. Ah, oh yeah, here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares left for this column. 
so I can mark all of them. And the group of five connected squares is also complete. Do I have anything else here? One, two, three, four, five, six squares marked, but many more than two squares left. Um, here, five squares, that doesn't help yet. You have two squares, you have one square. Okay, um... Oh, here, the uh, group of... In this row, the two connected squares are completed, like this, I see now. Let's see how many squares I have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 squares for the group of 40 connected squares. Now, since I need one more square to complete the two connected squares, either here or here, the group of 14 is definitely completed uh, without any further addition. That means I can delete these two squares. But I don't know whether I'm supposed to delete this square or this square, because the one separate square can be here or here. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can figure out where to position this part, or should we look at the four connected squares here? I'm not really sure yet. Um, Yes, 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 wait, we have one gap left in this column, right, and uh, this row. So this gap cannot be positioned here. If, it, if, if I deleted this square, I would have to mark these squares and also this one, and I would connect the groups. So the gap uh, that I have in this uh, row has to be either here or here. So it means it can't be here and I can mark the square, and this means the group of four connected squares is completed and the gap has to be here. Um, that also means that this column is completed. I can delete this square. Um, and let's see, do we have anything here? Um, now five, no. How many squares do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means I need another five squares. I have, well, I don't even know how many squares I used up here because of this clue, but one, two, three, four, five, six squares are marked already. So I either have one or two squares only in this row. Um, seven plus one, yeah, that means I need three or four squares here. No, that doesn't help me yet. Oh wait, yes, this row I forgot again. I can complete it like this. Okay. Um, but that still doesn't help me with this one. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I still don't know where to put the one remaining square in this column here, so um, I do have to look into this area now. Uh, and um, uh, I think the easiest way to do this is now not by counting the squares. Well, let's, let's see, maybe we can do it like this. We know that we have one separate square either here or here, so that touches the group of six connected, or that's part of the group of six connected squares, so I need another three uh, squares down here. Um, now, since the amount of squares that I have in this row is not really restricted, that doesn't really help me, because I can put... No, I can't put three squares like this, I can put them like this. Or... No, like this also doesn't work. <coughs> Wait, how do I fit, fill? Can I put them like this? No. Like this? No. Like this? Yes. But like this, it won't work because then I would touch the group of 12 connected squares. Yes, that's actually a solution. The uh, three squares for the bottom row here can only be positioned like this because of this square here. Um, so, uh, yes, I can delete this square here because I have my two connected squares here and the six connected squares therefore have to be completed like this with one clue, uh, with one square here. I can delete this square because this group is completed and this square too and that means the two connected squares here <coughs> can only be positioned like this. That completes the uh, um, column here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares marked so I can delete these squares. And um, here in this column I need five squares and I only have five squares left in the column so I can mark all of them. This way the group of 12 connected squares is completed, so I only have to delete this square and the puzzle is complete. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again in my next video when I will solve puzzle number... Man, I always forget which one I solved now. I think 33 is the next one, right? Yes, next one will be puzzle number 33. Thanks for watching. Bye.